Hello and welcome to Film Physicality. In this video, I'll just be showing off my whole physical media collection. Let's get to it. Okay, this is my collection. I think I have just over 600 actual physical releases, uh, which make up a total of just over 800 movies. That's because of, you know, multiple packages, multiple, pa multiple packaging. So multiple movies in one package. Um, but yeah, I have them organized kind of by genre, so not very well organized, I guess, but you know, I like it. It's, you know, movies have multiple genres, but I guess I do what I think is best for that movie. Um, and yeah, I have the, uh, Disney's animated, other animated, then dramas and comedies and I guess sci-fi fantasy and then superheroes, actions, thrillers, and the horrors. But yeah, let's do this. Okay, starting over here with my Disney movies or Disney still books. I first have the Toy Story collection, which I absolutely love. This look beautiful. Toy Story 1. And I'll actually leave this out so it's easier. And then Toy Story 2. Oh. Toy Story 3. They're just, I don't know, beautiful still books in my opinion. And Toy Story 4, which is a little different from the others, but still kind of similar. Um, the Lion King animated, very nice still book too. I have Aladdin live action. And Aladdin animated. And I just love how all these still books look together. I have Frozen. Uh, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, I haven't opened this once, yeah I haven't opened this before but I've, I've seen them, Brave, Encanto which I also haven't opened but I watched it and I, it's a movie that I absolutely loved, okay God, Finding Nemo. I got Zootopia. Inside Out. Okay. And The Nightmare Before Christmas. Steelbook. That one I saw recently. Well, kind of recently, but I really loved it. And let's put this one back. There we go. Make it all nice again. Okay. Sorry. Okay. And down here I have Monster Sync. This is on a. This is actually a Blu-ray, but it's on a DVD case because it's one of the first Disney Blu-rays. It's probably one of the first Blu-rays I, I ever owned. Uh, Goofy movie. It's probably the only DVD I have. All I all. All else I have here is Blu-ray or 4K. I have cars. Okay. I have Mulan, the live action. On your one Dalmatians. Uh, fix this. Okay. Then I have. Coco, which is a movie that I really loved. Uh, Little Mermaid, the animated. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Bugs Live. Uh, Jungle Book, like live action. I don't know why I bought this one. I saw it in theaters and I didn't really like it at all. Wreck-It Ralph. Ralph Breaks the Internet. Uh, Mulan Animated with Mulan 2. And if they're not like special editions or no slip covers, no steel book, I'm just going to pull them out like this. Tangled. 
Pocahontas, one and two. Uh, Hercules, Lilo and Stitch, one and two. Emperor's New Groove and Kronk's New Groove. Big Hero Six. And Atlantis, one and two. Okay. And then down here, still more Disney animated. I have The Incredibles. And Incredibles 2. Brother Bear 1 and 2. Alice in Wonderland animated. Uh, Alice in Wonderland live action. Alice through the looking glass. Christmas Carol. Uh, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas and Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. Aristocats. Well, a lot of these aren't open, which I've seen most of them, but. Uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Princess and the Frog here. This one I haven't seen. I think my wife's seen it. Uh, Maleficent. I saw it, but I didn't like it. It's not open. Enchanted. Anastasia. And I think that's, yeah, we're done with Disney. Uh, these are other that are animated, but not Disney. So Hotel Transylvania 1 and 2. Hotel Transylvania 3. And we got the Polar Express Steelbook. I got Sing, Steelbook. I got Bus Burgers, which we really love Bus Burgers. And I got the Super Mario Movie Steelbook. The bland one that no one likes. <laughs> and down here have Shrek Ultimate Collection. This has all the movies except the latest Puss in Boots and then a lot of shorts and TV episodes. Pretty cool collection. Uh, Puss in Boots, The Last Witch. I have Home. The Croods. Robots and then the uh, Despicable Me one, two, and three. Okay, and I have the Grinch animated, the recent animated Legends of the Guardians, the Iron Giant, which is a very good movie, and I haven't even opened this. I need to rewatch this. Uh, Happy Feet. Uh, it's Space Jam, which I should also rewatch. Roger Rabbit. Wow, a lot of these I haven't even opened. The Emoji Movie. I don't think I've seen that one. Monster House. Uh, really good movie. Book of Life. Epic. Casper, and have a three pack here with Caroline, Paranormal, and Box Trolls, and Small Soldier, also unopened, and I, I want to rewatch that one soon. Okay, I think that's it for animated. Down here I have rom coms, yeah, rom coms, mostly my wife's, but some of them I really love. Uh, well, I don't think that's what this one's. Uh, well, maybe a little bit of a rom com, but yeah, Edward Scissorhands, Devil Wears Prada, and this is the uh, Deadpool slip cover from Walmart. Uh, 500 Days of Summer, that one I really love. ECA, another one that I love. Last Christmas, Love Actually, The Proposal. Maid of Honor, Dirty Dancing, 
aquamarine me before you the fault in our stars because of wing dixie that was a good one then things i hate about you don john paper towns a cinderella story one and two um pitch perfect one of two of nursing those uh, girls rule three pack has mean girls clueless and she's the man um crazy oh crazy stupid love and dream girls this one's a really nice set it's like a media uh dg book sorry okay and then continuing down here I guess comedies, yeah, comedies, uh, the mummy ultimate collection has all, all of them, well, except the Tom Cruise one, which I haven't even seen, hangover part two, I only have part two because I've got this for very cheap, yeah, four bucks, still booked for four bucks, so I had to get it, um, Dr. Doolittle, which I haven't rewatched in a long time, Naked Gun 1 and 2. I haven't opened this, so I haven't rewatched it in a while either. The Rocker. Really cool movie. Uh, two pack for Extract and Switch. Uh, Miss Congeniality 1 and 2. Office Space. The Intern. Uh, two pack Adam Sander, Big Daddy, and Miss Deeds. And then Austin Powers pack with all three of them. Um, Home Alone 2, which I don't know why this one's separate from one. I should put it over here. Okay. How the Grinch stole Christmas, the Jim Carrey one. Good. Jumanji in 4K. Uh, Jingle all the way. Pretty cool Christmas movie. I uh, already saw Home Alone 2. Home Alone 1. This is a cool VHS clip cover. And then I have Elf Steelbook. And over here, more comedies. I have a sequel pack of uh, Jason Amy, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, and Clerks. And then I have the Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back Reboot. I haven't seen this one. Should watch it soon. Big Trouble in Little China. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. And where do I have... I uh, should move this over here because I have Bill and Ted Face the Music over here. Okay. Why him? We get a Bernie's, which is a hilarious movie. Game Night cool movie too i love jason bateman uh two pack for horrible bosses and due dates and two pack for dumb and number and the mask i love the mask i wish they would do a 4k uh liar liar and then we saw that bill and ted and then bill and ted face the music uh coming to america earth girls are easy which i watched it for the first time recently and I really loved it. Christmas Vacation, Chevy Chase movie. I watched it recently for the first time too. That one I didn't love. Night at the Museum collection with all, with all three movies. And Criterion collection for The Life Aquatic with Steve Zuzu. Which was, a, which was an okay movie in my opinion. Okay, here it's kind of still a bit of comedy, but also starting with dramas. So I guess dramedies. I have Viva Las Vegas, this uh, Elvis Presley movie, and I got this for very cheap, which is kind of like a DG book. Yeah, I got that for very cheap. So, I mean, I've never seen the movie, but I had to get it. I have Hustlers, The Help. Uh, and yeah, these are mostly dramas. Hell or High Water, The Usual Suspects, 
the star is born, little woman, joy, so really, I really like joy, passion of the Christ, blind spotting, Megan Levy, which I've never watched, slippers, blood diamond, fences, American hustle, greatest showman, Birdman, Wolf of Wall Street, Cocktail, which I've never seen, I want to watch soon. Um, Mrs. Doubtfire, The Goonies. Okay, these are full on dramas. I have the Godfather trilogy on 4K. I watched them all for the first time recently and I really loved them. Um, maybe the third one not so much, but still love all of them. Scarface in 4K, classic. Good fellas. I think it was Walmart exclusive. Gladiator 4K. Requiem for a Dream. A very WTF movie. Vanilla Sky. Also a pretty WTF movie. I loved it. Adaptation. One that I also loved. Very original. Promising Young Woman. Pretty cool movie too. Spotlight, a very good drama as well. Patriot's Day. Pig, Nicolas Cage movie. I didn't love it, but it was interesting. Where the Crawdads Sing. Uh, I really like this one. The Father, I love this one. Um, Wonder, saw this one recently for the first time. It's pretty cool. It's a Wonderful Life, classic. Frank Darabont Collection, which this one has Green Mile, The Majestic, and Shawshank Redemption. All very good movies. And then I have Criterion Collection of Raging Bull. Black and white, 4K. It just looks very good. It's a really cool movie, too. Okay, then over here, more dramas. And here I have A24 dramas starting with After Sun which is a movie that I absolutely loved probably one of my favorite A24 movies A24 movies but yeah very very good movie Marcel the Shell with Shoes On interesting heartfelt movie pretty good uh, eh, I'll leave this out so it's easier okay The Green Knight The Well, A Room, it's a, real, it's a movie that I really loved, Red Rocket, okay, and that's it for 24 dramas, and I have Parasite, which of course, great movie, Turn No Sunshine Out the Spotless Mind, Elvis, Bohemian Rhapsody, Axel Rich, La La Land. I haven't opened this too, but I've I've seen them. Catch me if you can. Babylon. These are all drama stew books. Taxi Driver. Ford v. Ferrari, and Whiplash, which is one of my favorite movies as well. I think I have it top four on Letterboxd. Okay, and then over here, I have kind of the uh, fantasy and sci-fi mixed together. Like I said, they are organized, but not super organized. I have here Star Wars complete collection this is the original trilogy and the prequels pretty cool collection on blu-ray i don't have them in 4k and i'll leave this out and i have rogue one 
on Blu-ray. I bought these early on and I wish I had done Steelbook for them. I do have the Steelbook for Solo. And then I have Force Awakens, Blu-ray. Uh, the Last Jedi, which I'm one of those few people that actually liked The Last Jedi. No, Rise of Skywalker, that one I really hated. I've only seen it once in theaters. I haven't opened this. Okay. Uh, Matrix Resurrection Steelbook 4K. And then I have the Matrix Trilogy on Blu-ray. I love The Matrix, one of my favorite movies. Uh, Harry Potter Complete Collection on Blu-ray. I've been wanting to upgrade this one to 4K. I don't know if I will. Uh, Fantastic Beasts, first one, which this one seems very promising, but then we got the others. So, Crying Silk, Grindelwald, Wall, and Dumbledore, which I really hated, both of them. Okay, I'll move this all back. Okay, here I have Avatar, first one on Blu-ray. I don't know. I didn't really love, I don't really love Avatar. I've only seen this once in theaters and I never even opened this. But it was, it's a nice Blu-ray and it was pretty cheap. So I got it. And then I didn't see the second one in theaters. So I grabbed it to watch it at home. I think it was better than the first one actually, but I still didn't completely love it. Uh, Dune, Steelbook. And Lord of the Rings trilogy on 4K. Gotta love Lord of the Rings. Uh, Hobbit. Don't gotta love Hobbit. <laughs> I got the Hunger Games collection. And I got uh, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse. And then I got the uh, Breaking Dawn part one and two. Uh, Planet of the Apes trilogy on 4K. I haven't opened this. Me too. I've seen them, but I, I need to rewatch them. Uh, Jurassic World Steelbook Collection. This has, oh, sorry, Jurassic World Steelbook Collection. This has all the Jurassic Parks and then Jurassic Worlds, except for the latest one, which I haven't even seen and I haven't heard good things. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons Steelbook. Pretty cool movie. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog steelbook with a comic on the back. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 steelbook, which I really, really love this steelbook. It's, uh, it's, it's like the uh, second game, which is my favorite Sonic game, and I used to play that a lot as a kid. Uh, Detective Pikachu. Pretty Cool movie too. Okay. Okay. Over right here. Um, we have Back to the Future collection. Oh, I should rewatch Back to the Future soon. I love them. I haven't seen them in a while. Uh, Blade Runner, first one, and then Blade Runner, Blade Runner 2049. E.T. The Extraterrestrial Steelbook. Uh, this was a Target exclusive, I think. Um, Ex Machina, A24 movie, sci-fi. Uh, really, really good movie. I love it. Okay. The Born Identity. Alita Battle Angel. Lucy. Independence Day. Classic. I love it. iRobot. After Yang. Another A24 sci-fi, which I guess I should put this one. New York's marketer. 
I made 24 together. Uh, Ready Player One 4K. It's a movie that I really, really loved. And then The Fifth Element Steelbook. I uh, haven't seen this one in a while. I haven't opened this. War of the Worlds Steelbook, or I guess Metal Pack? Yeah, it's the Metal Pack, War of the Worlds. Pretty cool movie. First Man. And then I have Stanley Kubrick, uh, Clockwork Orange, very WTF movie, and 2001 A Space Odyssey. Pretty, pretty cool movie, but my wife would disagree. Okay, and then here, Day After Tomorrow, the uh, Deadpool, Deadpool slip cover from Walmart. I got Chappie and District 9, same director for Bella's Lego movies. Apollo 13. Uh, I have this big science fiction pack. I don't think I've seen, well, I've seen some of them, but not from this Blu ray. But Universal Soldier, Avengers Game, Total Rico, Stargate, Replicant, and Highlander, The Source, which I didn't even know existed. Uh, Pacific Rim. Jupiter Ascending, which I saw for the first time recently and I absolutely hated it. Midnight Special, Gravity, Now You See Me 2, and Now You See Me, the first one. Godzilla, yeah, I guess first one for the latest ones. Godzilla, King of Monsters. Oh, I don't have the uh, Godzilla vs. Uh, King Kong. Thought I did. Maybe it's somewhere. Uh, anyways, Transformers. No, I don't think I have it. Okay. Anyways, yeah, Transformers still book. Uh, 12 Monkeys. Pretty cool movie. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, the first one, and the only one that I like. I really love this one. I don't like the others. Okay, Christopher Nolan, Tenet, and Inception, and I have Looper here, it's a pretty cool movie. Okay, then down here, well, I guess continuing from the other ones here, I still have more comedies here. See, I kind of have them organized, but then all over the place at the same time, but yeah, a shower. Really nice uh, slip box, and it's the trilogy. That's all three of them. Bad Boys One and Two, and then Bad Boys for Life, and Men in Black trilogy. Okay, and then I have a triple pack of Simon. Peg and Nick Frost, uh, the Edgar Wright directed movies, uh, World's End, Hot Fuzz, and Shaun of the Dead, and Paul, so, so Edgar Wright, I think, you sure, anyways, uh, Vengeance, Jojo Rabbit, 4K, Free Guy, Hitman's Bodyguard, which I really like, one of my favorites, Comedies and Hitman's Wife Bodyguard, which was not nearly as good as the first one. And I have The Nice Guys, probably my favorite comedy of all time. I really like this one. I wish I wish it had a 4K. And Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent Steelbook. Very nice steelbook, and I love this movie. Nicholas Cage being Nicholas Cage and just having fun. Very fun movie. Okay. Um, over here, I have my Marvel collection. Uh, they look really nice like this. Uh, most of them are Blu-ray. Uh, well, actually, the first ones, I think, face 
one and two and part of three are in Blu-ray because I you know, started this earlier when they weren't on 4K. But yeah, starting with Iron Man. Uh, I'll leave Iron Man out so it's easier. Okay, Incredible Hulk. Iron Man 2. Thor. And I think these are in release order, except for the spider Man, because I have the spider Man together. Captain America, First Avenger. And the Avengers. Iron Man 3. Thor, The Dark World. Captain America, The Winter Soldier, which is, I know, a lot of people's favorite or one of the favorites. Guardians of the Galaxy. Avengers, Age of Ultron, not people's favorite. Ant-Man. Captain America, Civil War, one of my favorites. Doctor Strange. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. Thor, Ragnarok. Black Panther, 4K, and this is where the 4K start. Um, Avengers, Infinity War. Steelbook. Ant-Man and the Wasp, 4K, with a nice lenticular cover. Captain Marvel, Steelbook. Okay. Let me put Iron Man back. There we go. Okay, continuing down here, have Avengers Endgame, Black Widow, Steelbook, yeah, I think all the Marvel ones are Steelbook from now on, uh, Shang-Chi, I like this one, I like Shang-Chi, it's a Kung Fu Marvel movie, Eternals, didn't love this one. Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. I really, really like this one. I should rewatch it. I only saw it in theaters. But yeah, uh, Horror Elements, Sam Raimi. I absolutely loved it. Thor, The Love and Thunder. Or Thor, Love and Thunder, not The Love and Thunder. Okay, we got Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Got Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. And then I have these Spider Mans here. I have Homecoming and I have this 4K with the mask. Pretty cool. Uh, I kind of, I don't know, I regret it a little bit because it doesn't look nice for the collection, but it's still a, a nice one. And then uh, Spider Man Far From Home. And then Spider-Man No Way Home. I saw this twice in theater, so that's why I haven't opened this one. And then I got Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I haven't seen this second one of this one in theaters, so I'm waiting for it to come out. And then the Spider-Mans, the uh, Tobey Maguire and the uh, Andrew Garfield ones. Okay, and then more Marvel here. I got Venom 4K. So, pretty okay. And then Venom, Death of Your Carnage. Very, very nice deal book, but not as good of a movie. Deadpool. I should rewatch the Deadpools. I think I only see them in theaters. Oh no, I think I the first one I watched more than once, but anyways, oh uh, yeah, Deadpool 2, I think this one I only saw once in theaters. Uh, X-Men, I don't have all the X-Men, but X-Men 2, and then X3, The Last Stand, X-Men Origins Wolverine, X-Men First Class, X-Men Days of Future, Future Past, which I have this steelbook with a particular cover. Um, 
mean, that's it for the expense. I have Blade, and then I have DC. This is Man of Steel, Steelbook. Uh, I guess I didn't protect these steelbooks. That's how much I don't like DC, I guess. And I didn't complete the collection either. Uh, but yeah, Batman vs. Superman, Son of Justice, Suicide Squad, Justice League, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Jazam. Well, I guess I should show off the steelbooks. This, since they are steelbooks, they're not protected though. I should say I'm the first one. Only have the first one, don't have the second. And I haven't seen the second. And I haven't seen Black Adam either. Uh, Birds of Prey. And I also haven't seen The Flash. <clears throat> okay. And these are more DC. So I have the uh, first Batman's four pack on Blu ray. And I have the Dark Knight trilogy on Blu ray. I've been wanting to watch this trilogy or rewatch this trilogy. Okay, I have the Batman Steelbook. Very different super superhero movie, but I liked it. One that's also very different Joker. Which I absolutely loved. Then we got Hellboy Steelbook. I don't have the second one. I should get the second. And I have V for Vendetta Steelbook. I love this movie. Watchmen, the ultimate cut, which I sat through and I liked it, but I don't know if I'll ever do it again. Four hours, yeah. Kick ass, 4K. Mm, Power Rangers, 4K. Pretty disappointing one. Massive Sorrow. Mm, I need to watch this one. I mean, I saw it back in the day, but I don't remember anything. Uh, Doom Raider, Cradle of Life, Steelbook. And then the first Doom Raider. Two book, well, the first for uh, Angelina Jolie's. Um, okay, got Sherlock Holmes. Got Matt Max, Fury Road. 310 to Yuma, Steel Book, which I haven't seen in a very long time. I don't remember anything because um, I think I saw this one with my dad when I was a kid, so remember anything and young guns which i haven't seen i should watch this one soon as well okay and down here i guess we're starting with the actions yeah i mean i guess we started here with the actions but continuing action uh speed uh this keanu reeves early movie with sandra bullock i really really love it good movie if you haven't seen it. Escape Plan. Eh, okay movie. Predator. This is another one of those Walmart exclusive script covers for uh, Deadpool. Full Metal Jacket. Uh, I'm not going to pull this out. Saving Private Ryan. 4K. Black Hawk Down. 4K. First Blood. 4K. Expandables 1, 2, and 3 Blu ray. Die Hard. Con Air Blu ray, which I really love and I wish they would do a 4K. Uh, Face Off and Cage Snake Eyes, um, or Snake Eyes. Face Off, they are doing a 4K soon, which I'm absolutely getting. I love Face Off. The Roots from Paris with Love. Two pack for a hostage and set up. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Uh, two pack for home front and end of watch. Uh, Samuel Jackson pack with the spirit reasonable doubt. Cell and what's the other one? Kites, which I've never even heard of. Some of these I've seen. I watched. I've seen Cell and Reasonable Doubt. I've seen the other two. Um, stolen, uh, 
probably a crappy Nicolas Cage movie. This one was for like a dollar. And point break. Now moving up here. I have more action, or I guess first here I have my Quentin Tarantino collection. I have True Romance, which was not directed by Quentin Tarantino, but he wrote it. Watched it for the first time recently. Very good movie. Uh, From Dust Till Dawn. Also just written by him. Oh, and starring him. And Natural Born Killers. Which is was written by him, not directed. Then Reservoir Dogs. First one he directed. Has had this very cool still book of it. And I have still book for Pulp Fiction. I haven't opened this, but I've watched it a million times. It's my favorite Tarantino. I have the Hateful Eight. Uh, Kill Bill volumes one and two. Hoping to upgrade this one soon. Inglorious Bastards, I have, this is Blu-ray, but I have a pretty cool edition, so I didn't upgrade to 4K, especially since I heard the 4K is not that good. And I have this steelbook for the Groundhouse collection for Planet Terror and Death Proof, which he directed Death Proof. Django Unchained, Blu-ray steelbook. And Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. 4K steelbook. I think the only one I don't have from him is Jackie Brown, but I'm holding out for a 4K. Then I have Nobody. Pretty cool movie, kind of like John Wick. And I have John Wick. John Wick 2. 1 and 2 I only have on Blu ray. I wish I had gotten steelbooks for them at least. I have steelbook for th third one. And Steelbook for the fourth one. This is the Best Buy Steelbook. Okay, now over here I have fighting movies. I have the Bruce Lee Criterion Collection. Very, very nice sets. Uh, we'll leave this to the side. I have Jackie Chan Police Story 1 and 2, also by Criterion. And then I have Police Story 3. This is a recent one. I haven't opened this one. And I, I'm pretty sure I saw this movie back in the day, but I haven't watched this edition. Oh, I got a mess here. Okay. Then I have Mr. Nice Guy. Uh, Drunken Master 2. I want to rewatch this one soon. Uh, Kung Fu Master. I think this one was like a dollar three fine. Uh, Forbidden Kingdom, which I've watched a bunch of times, but I haven't opened this one. Hero Steelbook. And then, uh, these are Jet Li now. Fearless. Unleashed. And then I have Karate Kid. We well, have the first one. The It Man Trilogy. Then... Ip Man 4, I love the Ip Man's um, back trilogy, wish I got on the steelbook of this. The Raid 1 and 2, they're both very, very good martial arts movies. Uh, if you haven't seen The Raid, I really recommend them. Uh, Mortal Kombat, the newer one, I saw this in theaters, I uh, haven't watched it again. I didn't particularly love it, but I really like the steelbook. And the first, Mortal Kombat. There we go, and then down here, I think I have action thrillers, yep, action thrillers, I guess, uh, with A24, Everything Everywhere All at Once, a movie that I really, really loved, and I know a lot of people did, and then I have Uncut Gems. Probably the best acting from Adam Sandler. A very, very good movie. I have The Foreigner. Jackie Chan Thriller. Uh, 
uh, Warrior, which I guess is a bit more of a trauma, but anyways, yeah, has this Steelbook of Warrior. Chaos Walking Steelbook. This one got a lot of hate, but I didn't mind it. It was okay. I got Crank. Crank Steelbook. Uh, Fast and the Furious Steelbook. First one, which is the only one I like. Eh, I mean, uh, second one is okay. Uh, don't own it. Law Abiding Citizen Steelbook. And I have Drive Blu ray Steelbook. I love that movie as well, Drive. 13 hours. Pretty cool Michael Bay, John Krasinski movie. The Professional. Leon the Professional, I would say. Uh, oh, a dirt. Food train. I have Top Con, the first one, Blu ray. And then I have Top Con Maverick, 4K Steelbook, and has the, this is the lenticular Walmart one. I have Training Day Steelbook. I haven't opened this one, but I saw it a long time ago. I just haven't seen it recently. And same for the Italian job. I haven't seen it recently. Okay. And then more action thrillers. I have the Kingsman Blu-ray collection. Well, just one and two. I don't think I've seen the third one. No, I haven't seen it. Taken collection. I have Mission Impossible Blu-ray collection. And Mission Impossible Fallout. I have Double Jeopardy. 4K. I want to watch this one soon. I saw it a long time ago. I haven't seen it recently. I have Heat on 4K. I have Ambulance 4K, the recent Michael Bay movie. It's pretty fun. Collateral on 4K. Some of all fears 4K. Patriot Games from 4K. I have Air Force One 4K. Baby Driver 4K. I really liked Baby Driver. I wish I got on the steelbook for that one. Lord of War. American History X. Fight Club. Love Fight Club. I would upgrade if they do a 4K. The Accountant 4K, The Town, Gone Girl, have this pretty cool edition, which brings the book, um, and it was pretty cheap, and up to recently you could still find this, you might still be able to find it, I don't know, uh, Criterion Blowout, saw a Blowout recently for the first time, and I, I liked it, it's pretty good. Okay, okay, down here we have Triple Pack for Buddy of Lies, Edge of Darkness, and Pride and Glory. I have Da Vinci Code 4K. American Made 4K, I haven't opened this, I only saw it in theaters. Uh, the Commuter 4K. Nightcrawler Blu-ray, I got this for cheap and I really liked it.
I'm gonna rewatch this. Sicario, uh, Ocean's Eleven triple pack, Ocean's Eight, Assassin's Creed, Bel Canto, which I've never seen. Should watch that one. Terminal, Children of Men, Chronicle. Double pack for Buddy Elias and Three Kings, which I guess I own Buddy Elias twice, I realize. Uh, and Lost River. Lost River is kind of a hidden gem. I had never heard it before, and it's directed by, uh, oh, what's his name? Ryan Gosling. Directed by Ryan Gosling. Okay, now for this one, uh, what do I do for this one? Maybe I'll just move the whole thing out. Give me a sec. Okay. So here I have thrillers, more thrillers, or I guess full blown thrillers, not action thrillers. Anyways, I have Greta. Greta. I have Emily the Criminal. It's a recent movie starring Aubrey Plaza. It's pretty cool. Fall, pretty good recent movie as well. I have the Northman 4K. I'll leave this out. Annihilation. Overlord. Mother. I think this one got a some hate, but I liked it. Unsane. Very good movie. Have uh, 4K slipcover. Um, that this one was filmed on an iPhone, which was pretty cool. It's a good movie. The Hunt. Pretty cool movie as well. Ready or not, I really like this one. The Invisible Man like this one as well. Okay, Steelbooks. I have Bram Stoker's, Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Pitch Black Steelbook. The first Redick. Got Super 8. Good Steelbook Spielberg movie. Knock at a Cabin. Recent and M. Night Shyamalan. Rear Window Steelbook. Knives Out still book. The Shutter Island still book. Haven't opened it, but I've watched it a bunch of times. I really like Shutter Island. Okay, over here. Well, actually, let me put this in first. Okay, got Resident Evil still book. Triple pack for seven, Insomnia and Devil's Advocate. All three of them very good. Gotta love seven. Fear. Got this recently. I watched it recently for the first time. It was pretty good. I liked it. Very different Mark Wahlberg movie. Alien. First one, the only one I own. Got Cloverfield. Only watched this once and I haven't opened this. I didn't really like the first Chlorophyll, but 10 Chlorophyll Lane, that one I really liked. The Gift, one of my absolute favorite movies. I love The Gift. Jason Bateman movie. Knock Knock. Uh, this one got a lot of hate, but I honestly, I liked it. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of bad, but I, I liked it. Disturbia. Uh, Red Sparrow. Throwbreds, Black Swan. So this is pretty cool edition. I haven't opened this. Zodiac, um, The Crow, Sleep Tight, or this is Mientras Duerme. This is in Spanish. Uh, directors of Rec, Rec One and Rec Two. It's a it's a very cool movie. Bit of a hidden gem. The Collector, um, Don't Breathe, the first one, and then Don't Breathe 2 on 4K. 
Uh, Synchronic. This was a blind buy, but I didn't really like it. Brightburn 4K. Yeah, Brightburn was okay. Now, down here, I have They Live 4K Steelbook. Unbreakable. 4K Steelbook. I've watched that a million times, but I haven't opened the Steelbook. Glass. This was the best buy that, I don't know, for this one, they didn't do a Steelbook. They did like uh, three different cards. Split. Watcher. Resurrection. The recent Rebecca Hall movie was pretty good. <laughs> Anaconda. Uh, I don't know why that, but Anaconda, but yeah. <laughs> Misery. Ma. Underwater. Pretty good water horror. And yeah, I guess we're getting into that kind of thriller horror. Well, we got a while ago, we got into thriller horror. Uh, the owners. Fear of Rain, uh, it was a blind buy, it was not very good. Crawl, World War C, this, this was the, a Walmart exclusive slipcover, I think, I'm not sure. Escape Room, and Escape Room 2. I really like the escape rooms. I like both of them. They're fun movies. Okay. Getting more into horror. Uh, well, slashers, I guess, on this one. I have all the Friday the 13th. Well, not all the Friday the 13th. I have one through four Blu-ray steelbooks. But I really, really like the steelbooks. Oh, God. Part three. And part four. I watched them recently for the first time, actually. Well, I mean, I watched for this, I watched like parts of it, but I watched it for the first time recently. Halloween ends. This is the Walmart exclusive slipcover, which opens up Halloween Kills. Halloween. And for the Halloweens, I guess I only have the newer timeline. I have the three new ones and the very first one. Yep, and the first one. And I wish I had a slip cover for the first one. The screen, three, well, it says five film sets, but yeah, it only has one, two, and three. Um, so I don't own four, and I wish I had gotten the newer steelbooks I had upgraded, but I didn't, and now two is impossible to find. This is Scream 5. When I have Scream 6, I just have it on my new July movies. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I know what you did last summer. I actually watched this recently before the 4K got announced, so I haven't even opened this one. And I had already watched it, of course, before that, but I just need to watch it recently again. Candyman, the newer one. I don't own the original, but I have watched the original. Okay. The Thing. John Carpenter's The Thing. Okay, uh, Forever Purge, got this on Blu-ray and now I'm 4K, I don't remember why, maybe because it wasn't a sale or something. Okay, and the Purge for movie collection, which includes all of them except the Forever Purge. Now, down here, more horror, or more slashers. Terrifier 2, which I really, really like. Terrifier 2, I got the Blu-ray steelbook from Walmart. 
I got the first Terrifier. This up a bit. Okay, I got Trick or Treats. You're next. Sleep away camp. I watched this for the first time recently and it's pretty surprising. It's very good. Last house on the left, the original. Uh Psycho, the remake. I don't know why I only own the remake. I have seen the original, I don't have it. The faculty, very, very good, uh like nineties teen slasher. Uh, Queens of Scream pack. Uh, this has I know why you did less armor, which I guess I own twice. Uh, Vacancy and when a stranger calls. Good movies. The Saw collection. Really, I only like the first one, but this was super super cheap, so I got it. And Spiral 4K. Okay. Uh, Shouts play the uh, remake. I recently got the original collection on Blu-ray, uh, but it's on the July once. Uh, Hellfast, pretty cool movie, Hellfast, it was fun. Um, yeah, I don't have the July ones here, I'll do an update video with the movies I got in July. Uh, initiation, this was a blind buy, it was a bit fun I guess, but not very good. Final Destination, 4 pack on Blu-ray, gotta love Final Destination. Bloodline, this was a pretty good Sean William Scott movie, different different uh, acting from Sean William Scott, definitely. Fantasy Island, um, yeah, not a very good movie, but it was kind of fun. The Rental, this one is actually pretty good, I like The Rental. Directed by Dave Franco, and pretty good cast as well. Countdown, mm, not super good, but fun. And the Retaliators, which I've never seen. I should get to watching soon. Okay, uh, let me let me move this back. Okay, well that's back in there. That's something I like about this shelf. So I can just move them around, and of course I can also just whenever I need more, I can just buy more. Okay, uh, more horror. On here I have kind of the boutique ones. I have Wreck collection. I really like this one. I don't think I've seen the last one, but yeah, the I mean the first one is very, very good and the second one as well. Okay. Tenabre, Dariel Hento. I've never seen this one. Should watch it soon. Uh, then we have Arrows here, Deep Red. I have seen this one, also Dario Hanto. It was good. I liked it. Five hated it, but I liked it. <laughs> American Werewolf in London. A cool movie. Uh, Donnie Darko. I've seen this before, but I haven't opened this one. And I guess I should have, because I recently heard that there was a bad disc. Or it came with bad disc on the first ones. So I really should open it and at least check this. I mean, I don't even know if they'll replace it now. Maybe I'm screwed. I have Shock. Pretty good uh, Mario Baba movie. Two Witches. It was a blind buy. It was, it was pretty good. Madhouse. Pulse. Well, it was okay. Dark Water. Dark Water I really liked. It was good. And then Audition. This one I really, really enjoyed. I watched this one recently and it's very, very good. Okay. Um, okay, down here. We will pick out the extra slip cover of the Silence. Just don't know what to do with it. Um, okay. Evil Dead. Steelbook. I guess this one's not a boutique, but I just couldn't separate the Evil Deads. <laughs> Evil Dead 2013. And yeah, I only have this one, so I plan on getting the other ones. I just haven't. 
Uh, well, I have the new one, Evil Dead Rise. It's, it's on my July's Silent Hill. I love Silent Hill, and this is a pretty good collector's edition from uh, Scream Factory. Crack Me to Hell, also from Scream Factory, and also a movie that I absolutely love. Dead Silence, I haven't opened it, but um, I've seen it, and I love it. Dawn of Dead, pretty cool. Uh, Some movie, that's the uh, remake, which was done by Zack Snyder. And this is People Under the Stairs. I watched it recently, pretty good. Black Christmas, pretty good movie too. This one's opened, I just didn't remove the plastic or completely remove the plastic. Krampus, good Christmas holiday movie. I mean Christmas horror movie. <laughs> Carrie Steelbook. I've seen this. I just haven't opened the Steelbook. I mean, I've seen the movie. Memories of Murder. This is Criterion now. Um, and this one's by uh, Bong Joon Ho. And it's a really good movie. Blood Simple. Pretty decent movie as well. La Llorona. Uh, cool Mexican movie. It's more a drama than horror, but still horror. Rosemary's Baby, which I absolutely love. Uh, I wish I could double dip and get the 4K, but I don't think I will. But I really, really love Rosemary's Baby. The Brood, pretty good uh, Cronenberg movie. Matter of the Living Dead, I've never seen this one. Should watch it soon. Uh, Kronos, this is uh, Guillermo del Toro's first film. It's a Mexican film, it's very good. Not as good as Devil's Backbone, though. This one was very, very good. I love Devil's Backbone. It's uh, also directed by Guillermo del Toro. And I have all the, uh, the other Guillermo del Toro's here, but we'll get to those soon. Okay, over here, let's see. I have, well, starting here with A24 Horror. I have The Witch. I love The Witch. Very, very good movie. And I have Hereditary. Ari Aster film. Very, very good. One of my favorite horrors. Man. A uh, very WTF movie. <laughs> it was pretty good. Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. It's a, a fun movie. Okay, I have X. I really liked X. I loved X. And then Pearl. I have the Walmart exclusive slipcover. I like Pearl, but I think I preferred X over it. I mean, I like both of them anyways. St. Maud. Pretty cool movie. I like it. Bit of a WTF as well. Uh, Lighthouse. I was one of those that I didn't really love Lighthouse as much as other people did. Midsummer, another Ari Aster movie. Good. I, I liked Midsummer. A lot of people, I mean, this one's kind of split. People love it or hate it, but I love it. Lamb, this uh, A24 shop exclusive. And I liked it. I saw it recently. It was, it was good. And. More A24, this is Under the Skin. It's a, it's a really good Scarlett Johansson movie. Kind of a hidden gem. I don't think a lot of people have heard about this one. Same as Black Hole Starter. Kind of a hidden gem, but it's very, very good. Black Hole Starter, I really liked. Uh, this is the only Vinegar Syndrome one that I have right now. Sensor, and this I bought when I didn't even know about Vinegar Syndrome. And I wish I had gotten the slipcover, because when I got this, the slipcover was still available, or slipbox. But it's not available now, and I, I guess I, I lost it. Uh, but yeah, I have more Vinegar Syndrome coming, but this is the only one I currently own. Uh, Haunt. Very, very good movie. I liked it. Invitation. The Invitation. This is a very, very good movie. I have seen this on streaming first, and then I just had to buy it. I don't even know where I got this one. It says... Draft House, 
I think that's probably the only one from from them that I have. But yeah, the movie is very very good. Stravakos, good movie. Got this recently. Um, I mean, I've seen it a bunch of times, but yeah. <laughs> Martyrs. I've never seen Martyrs. I recently got this one. I need to watch it. I know I've heard a lot of good things. Uh, again, I guess I have a random criteria one here. Silence of the Lambs, which I've seen. I just haven't opened this one. Down here I have, I guess, the Shutters or RLJE Films, which they distribute for Shutter. Yep, Shutter Original Terrified. This is a very, very, very good movie. I love this one. It, it is a very good movie. Terrified Beach House, another Shutter. It, it wasn't that good. I didn't really like Beach House that much. Caveat, this one was okay. Uh, Prevenge, I really, really like this one, Prevenge. And she was actually, she, she was the director and she starred in it and she was actually pregnant during the movie. Uh, and she had to be pregnant in, in the movie, so they had to sh had to shoot the movie in a very short time and they pulled it off, it was good. Post, very good movie. I think everyone knows about Post. Uh, the Dark and the Wicked. Very good. I like this one. It's surprisingly good. When? When was okay. Uh, yeah. Boy Behind the Door. I was surprised that I really liked this one. It was a very low budget movie, but it was good. More Cherry Collection. I like this one. This is like an anthology that they come together afterwards pretty good anything for jackson it's a really creepy movie one of the few movies that have actually scared me super host uh pretty fun movie scare me this is mostly talked through the whole movie but it was interesting z wants to play i really like this one this is like uh, reminiscent of like early 2000 movies, uh, but I really, really liked it. Colorado Space, Nicolas Cage movie, which was surprisingly good as well. You, and it's a 4K and 4K looks very good. Love the colors. Mandy, another Nicolas Cage movie. This is one that a lot of people loved. Um, I think it was okay. I didn't particularly love it. Mad God, Steelbook. Um, good effects, not non-existent story, I guess. Um, Skinamarink, the recent one, I never seen it. Tigers are not afraid. This is very similar to Guillermo Muller Troll style, and it was very good. I really liked it. Okay, down here I guess more out. RLJE, Shutter, Bills of Boost, that one was good. The Room was okay. Uh, Dark Glasses, this is a recent Dario Argento movie. It was okay, I would say. Uh, and Pettigore, this was really good, I liked it. Uh, Spree, I really like Spree. I, I watched it on streaming and then I bought it afterwards, but I found it at like a dollar three, so it was very cheap. Uh, the Dentist Collection. I watched both of them back to back recently. First one I liked. Uh, the second one not so much. Uh, Battle Royale. Good, good movie. Um, I saw the Devil. Mother. And these are, I guess I have the foreign together. Yeah. Host or the host. And Peninsula. Which is the second to Train to Busan. Which is the one I'm trying to get to now. And here it is. Train to Busan Steelbook. This is a very, very good zombie movie. Probably the best zombie movie out there.
Okay, now for this one. Uh, I'll probably move it out of there as well. Give me a sec. Okay. Uh, here. I have more horror. The Ring. I love The Ring. This is uh, the recent still book from Paramount. I have an... I don't think I opened the stool book, but I don't think I watched it. I mean, I've seen the ring so many times. Smile. I really liked it. I mean, I love early 2000 movies, and this one is pretty similar to that style. Last Night in Soho. I really, really like this one as well. One of my all time favorite movies, probably. It's got a lot of it. I wish I had gotten the steel book for the first one. I don't know why I didn't. It chapter two still book. I think by the time the first one came out, I wasn't really into collecting that much, so I wasn't buying still books, I guess. Okay, got nope. Us, so the uh, Jordan Peele movies. So I have nope and us on 4K still book, but I have get out on Blu ray, which is my favorite of the three, and it sucks that I only have it on Blu ray and no. No steelbook. Oh well. Quiet Place Part 2, steelbook. I saw this one in theaters. It was good. Uh, Quiet Place 1, which I really, really love. One of my all time favorite movies as well. Okay. Malignant. Blu ray. So I got the Blu ray and then they announced the 4K. And I was pretty pissed, but oh well. But I like Malignant. It's good. Uh, we have. One and two, we have one, it's not very good. The second one is very, very good. Come play. It was a pretty cool movie. The black phone. I like the black phone, it was good. Cabin in the Woods, 4K slip cover. And I really, really like this one. I've seen it a bunch of times. I think I own it twice actually, but still. I gotta get the, or I had to get the 4K steelbook. Okay, I uh, have Guillermo Toro ones here. Mimic. This one was actually directed by him. It's one of the first he directed. Or I think the, no, well, it was first American movie he directed, I think. Yeah. Uh, Mama. I think this was just produced by him. That's good. Antlers. Again, just produced by him. Julia's Eyes or Los Ojos de Julia. I think this one's Spanish. It's a good movie. Uh, it was just produced by him, I think. The Orphanage, also produced by Guillermo del Toro. Uh, this one's Spanish as well. I really, really like this one. The Orphanage. Don't Be Afraid of Dark. Also just presented by Guillermo del Toro. Crimson Peak, now this one he directed. Very good, like Crimson Peak. Pants Labyrinth, of course, got a lot of Pants Labyrinth. That's 4K slip cover. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I like this one. It's good. Nightmare Alley, which I guess I have it in horror, but it's more of a thriller. But it still have, it still has horror elements, I would say. Um, Doctor Slip, sequel to The Shining. It was very good. I liked it. And then The Shining, which I only have the uh, regular Blu-ray. Marrowbone. I saw this one recently, and I absolutely loved it. Really, really loved Marrowbone. Hatching. Uh, this was recent. It's a bit of a hidden gem, I think, though. And it's very, very good. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. Babadook, one of my favorites as well. I wish I had a better edition. The Others, I haven't even opened this one, but I mean, I've watched it so many times. I love The Others. And they announced the 4K, which I'm probably going to get. Woman Black, I like this one. And then The Night House, a Rebecca Hall movie that I really, really liked. Love The Night House. Okay, 
And down here, we have a horror pack that has Case 39, The Ring, and The Uninvited. So I guess I own The Ring twice, but the other two are very good as well. Case 39, I really, really love. Um, so I got that Cemetery 2 movie collection. This I got this when the newer one came out, which I didn't like at all, the newer one, but hey, at least it brings the original. Paranormal Activity 6 movie collection. I've been wanting to rewatch all of these to get to that. And I put it on backwards, whatever. Okay. I got Relic. This. Um, I don't know. I didn't really like it the first time, but it had good reviews that I gave it another chance to rewatch it, and I still didn't like it. The Unholy. Uh, it was okay, The Unholy, I guess. Um, Gretel and Hansel. I like this one. It's a slow burn of a movie, but it was pretty good. My God. Suspedia. The remake. I want to own the original. I love the original. And I love the remake, too. They're both very good. Okay, I got the Pope's Exorcist. Uh, the recent Russell Crowe horror. I don't know. I didn't like this one at all. It's too superhero-like. I don't know. The Invitation, another one that I didn't like. I wish I hadn't bought this one. Um, Curse of La Llorona. This one was, I guess, okay. Didn't love it. Um, and then I had the Conjuring Universe ones. Of Annabelle Comes Home. And we have... Annabelle Creation. Annabelle. Uh, Conjuring 2. The Conjuring. I saw the third one. I thought I had bought it, but I guess I didn't. I didn't love it anyways. Lights Out. I like Lights Out. Pretty cool. Insidious, The Last Key. And I only, I only own the last key and the first one. I'm hoping they do all of them on 4K like, the disc, like they did recently for Insidious. I haven't seen the this 4K, but I've seen the movie a bunch of times. I love Insidious. Here I have Old in my Shyamalan movie. Kind of recent. I liked it. Uh, I have Devil. This... I really like this one, and this one was produced by M. Night Shyamalan, but it's a pretty cool movie. Uh, the Visit, M. Night Shyamalan movie, I love The Visit, it's a good one. And then of course Signs, uh, Hunter, I've been meaning to rewatch this one, I remember I liked it, but I'm not sure because I saw it has, it doesn't have very good reviews, but I think I remember I liked it. So I need to I need to open this and rewatch it. The Descent, good good horror. Two pack for twenty eight days later and twenty eight weeks later. Good movies. Uh, trilogy for Rob Zombie, Blue Soul Three, House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, and Three from Hell. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Silent House. Voice of Stone. Amelia Clark movie. It was okay. Uh, Hunting in Connecticut. The cool movie. Shutter the remake. I just got it because it was for like a buck. Um, the Boy. A triple pack for House of Wax. Return to House on Haunted Hill and Ghost Ship. Ghost Ship and House of Wax. I really like. I enjoy them. Okay, triple pack. Possession, Cabin in the Woods again, and Sinister, which gotta love Sinister. Poltergeist, that's the original. Oh, wait, is it the original or is it the remake? Yeah, the original. Okay, 
the forest. Oh, forest. Distorted. Not a very good movie. Crimes in the Future. Pretty good. I liked. I liked it. I don't think I'll ever rewatch it, but I liked it. Possessor. I really like this one. I enjoyed Possessor. I liked it. Uh, Teen Can. Body Horror. I, uh, I don't know. There was, this one, the body horror on this one really creeped me out. And it wasn't really all that good anyways, story-wise. Okay. I have Ghostbusters. Steelbook. Gotta love Ghostbusters. Zombieland. Blu-ray Steelbook. Zombieland. Double tap. 4K slip cover. The Lost Boys. Cocaine Bear. Pretty wild movie. It was fun. Got Violent Night. Also a fun movie, but not as fun as I would expect for this type of movie. Megan. I like Megan. It was good. Um, Renfield. I liked it. It was fun. Uh, I don't know why I have. Well, I guess these are kind of horror. But Beetlejuice, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and Corpse Ride. I guess some of them are kind of horror. I don't know. Uh, Freaky. I love Freaky. It's a very, very fun movie. Okay, Happy Death Day to you, the second Happy Death Day, and I love both of them, I like the Happy Death Day ones, this, here's the first Happy Death Day, and then triple pack for scary movies, and the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which I have never seen actually, I should watch that, okay, and... Oh, I guess I can show what I have over here. These are mostly uh, just shows. I have a Lego movie, which I, uh, this one was very cheap. I think it was the Dollar General. I got it. And then I have Avatar, Last Airbender on Blu-ray. And I have Legend of Korra back here. I saw the Blu-ray for Last Airbender. I haven't seen the Blu-rays for uh, Legend of Korra. Um, over here. I have Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, the complete series. This is a very, very nice set. Uh, I guess this is my wife's. She loves Scooby-Doo. But yeah, that's a pretty cool set. And back here I have Game of Thrones 4K collection. I mean, I saw it on HBO, but I haven't seen, the, seen them on 4K. And... Last but not least, uh, Breaking Bad Collection, my absolute favorite show. I've watched this like probably five times now, but yeah, very good. But yeah, that's it. That's it for my collection. Let me put. But yeah, that's it. That's it for my collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, remember to give me a like and a subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.